XRP, 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 where the Bulls are always at the gates getting ready to run. High vibe assets. Welcome back to the show, family. We got a great one for you today. Make sure that you tune in to the whole show today, family. You don't want to miss a beat on this one. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment down for the high vibes. It's always bullish on this channel. Same thing over here on my Twitter. Go ahead and give me a follow at High Vibe Assets. You're going to get the latest retweets. You're going to get the latest news. Everything XRP. Everything that when it comes to this digital asset space. Let's go ahead and kick off today's show. It breaks my heart, family, that they didn't believe in us. That they didn't believe that XRP in the XRP ledger was the greatest digital asset ever created. It breaks my heart. Real humans didn't believe that the entire digital asset space would be on the backs of XRP and the XRP ledger. Also with the Amazon of crypto, which is Ripple. Now everyone is going to see. Now everyone has to believe, family, that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. It breaks my heart. Nah, it really fucking breaks my heart. That there's people out there that don't believe in us. The speed they don't believe in us. This shit breaks my fucking heart. Nah, it's fucking crazy. If you really think about it, like it's actually humans that don't believe in us. Shame on them. Shame on these motherfuckers. God did. And that's exactly what we're telling everybody that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. And they didn't believe. Let's take a look at the XRP ecosystem. You telling me, family, you don't believe in this? The Bitcoin maxis. You have the Ethereum gate maxis. The guys over there at Binance, Jim Cramer. All of these people calling XRP a banker's coin, calling it a scam, calling it a con. Now, all of a sudden, people are rooting for XRP and Ripple in the Ripple case. You got the metaverse. You got software apps, infrastructure, XRPL development, interoperability, bridges, self-custody, explorers, tokenizations, websites, infrastructure, security, sustainability, arts, Entertainment, social media, wallets, gaming, decentralized finance, payments, NFTs. And you're telling me, family, that you don't agree that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created? What further proof do you need, family? This is the greatest technology ever created. You can send any payment in any currency in any jurisdiction for less than a penny. Seconds. What other digital asset can do that, family? XRP is faster than Usain Bolt. XRP is the fastest digital asset ever created. Bank to bank payments, FX settlements, metaverse, self custody, interoperability, store of value, bank to bank payments, decentralization. DeFi, NFTs, arts, security, tokenization, XRPL development, faster than Usain Bolt. It breaks my heart, family, that all of these people around in the digital asset space, they didn't understand what was coming. They didn't see the tide that was running, family. Let's check out what Ripple has to let us know, how Ripple is committed to making sure that crypto means business. The financial industry needs to come on board. There is no other way for blockchain and these business models to go mainstream without the financial industry. We are seeing enormous amounts of demand from our financial institution, traditional players who said, how do I get in there and provide solutions that my consumers are asking for? Crypto means business. Together, with regulatory clarity, we'll make sure that transparency and trust are the bedrock of what crypto is built on. 
I'm a big proponent that we should be regulating activity, but not technology. We end up all tied up in thinking about crypto. We ignore some of the real benefits that can bring on a B2B level, from moving value around the world. Most of us here are all trailblazers to these technologies. We came under the rebel net first and then found a case with ODL and then moved to the next level. It's absolutely huge. We can Family, please tell me what other company is doing promotion like this when it comes to the digital asset space? What other company is out in London with their promotion, is out in California with their promotion, is in Singapore with their promotion, letting everybody know that crypto means business? What other company is doing that, family? You tell me. Is it Cardano? Is it Bitcoin? Is it Ethereum? You let me know. This is why I'm rolling, just like what DJ Khaled said at the beginning, family. It breaks my heart that they didn't believe in us. They didn't believe that XRP was the greatest digital asset ever created. I mean, you talk about the FUD that the Amazon of crypto has to have been dealing with for the past two years. It has to deal with Gary Gensler, the CIA operative, Mr. Burns himself. Two years of just FUD. All different type of articles from Coindesk. All different type of FUD articles from CNBC, from Fox News. And Ripple is still standing tall. Ripple is still hiring engineers. Ripple is still opening up different offices around the world. Free the Ripple. Free XRP. Can't make this up. Ripple should settle. Ripple settlement could be catastrophic for the industry. Ripple can't settle. They must fight for everybody. Give me a break. Ripple's going to do what's best for Ripple and their ecosystem. Free Ripple. You try having Gary probe your ass for two years. All the while, hiring people, growing your business, and being transparent. You get a lawsuit dropped on you on Christmas and have to deal with FUD for two years. Free the Ripple. This is exactly what's going on, family. Everybody is finally recognizing that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. And I just want to show you guys, show the high vibe family, how fast somebody can be humbled in this space. Look at January Walker. Do you remember the tweet that she put out last night? If Ripple settles, it will be a loss for the whole world in Web3. Now she's coming out and saying a day later that the crypto community needs to rally behind XRP and ripple against the SEC. What happens to one will happen to them all with the governmental outreach. I wonder, does she feel the heat and the pressure when it comes to the XRP community and the XRP army? Flooding her with facts, flooding her with videos, flooding her with articles, flooding her with everything that she needs. Because I know when she said that, she didn't know exactly what she was saying. And she's coming out with a tweet and saying her tweets are 100% in line with each other. That's a damn lie. We know that, family. We've seen other people pivot on their stance of XRP. Just look at Big Boy. There's innumerable people that have changed their stance when the XRP army has flooded them with the information. This is a total change of tune from the tweet that she put out yesterday, family. Maybe she didn't understand that XRP was the greatest digital asset ever created. And when you come on the high vibes, I've always been telling the family from the beginning, you need to be careful of what you are spitting, man. I've been in this space for over six years now, and the information that I have gathered up has been years and years and years of research and years of putting these things into action with the XRP and the XRP ledger. If you are not seasoned inside of this industry, watch your mouth. Be careful what you're talking about, especially when you're talking about XRP and the greatest digital asset ever created, the XRP ledger, because this community has the facts. I'm glad that January Walker has changed her tune and hopefully she has XRP bags of her own. Is it all starting to make sense now, family? Of why the SEC would even go out and sue the Amazon of crypto in the first place. We seeing how the narratives are starting to change now. Everybody is on Gary Gensler trying to get him to come in and testify before the courts because he's been doing his dirty laundry. 
is it starting to make sense now that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created, that this new financial system will be built on the back of XRP? Is this starting to make sense now? The status quo have always, family, from the beginning of time, especially when the Internet of Information now with the Internet of Value have always done their dirt to try to stifle innovation. But this one, family, they will not win. Because they're slowly realizing instead of making XRP an enemy and make a Ripple an enemy, they need to make him an ally because everything will be on the backs of Ripple. And there was another frivolous lawsuit of Ripple Labs by the U.S. government. It's, David, just to slow them down. When, they're when just the, kicking the can down the road. They're just slowing the pace. Because... Because the banksters are not ready. And I'm gonna, make ready. A, I'm gonna make a bold comment and it's just in my own vernacular. The banksters are good at fraud and murder. They're not good at software engineering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, there are lots of precedents like Neil Keenan was murdered and replaced. He was uh, all about the old bonds gold back bonds uh they murder people left and right they actually murdered somebody a source of mine they murdered a close friend of his in europe and it really shook up my friend um the banksters sued xrp and ripple labs in order to buy time not so much to hold them back as to well it's it, two motives one to hold back the development of the Ripple Labs, but it didn't work because they're still working. And the, the other motive is to buy time in order for the banksters to develop something in a similar manner with the intellectual property so that they can match Ripple and say, we've got our own Ripple. We don't need your Ripple, but they fail. They failed on their face big time, family. There is not another way that you can go out and create another XRP. You better become allies with the greatest digital asset ever created. Is it starting to make sense? January, I think she believes it now. I think that she's finally convinced now. BitBoy is finally convinced now. We seen Charles Hoskinson the other day talking about he heard rumors about that there's going to be a settlement or maybe a summary judgment on December the 15th. The tides are turning, family. We got Jeremy Hogan right here. He's predicting that Ripple Labs will beat the SEC because the SEC has failed to address any real and ongoing legal relationship between Ripple and XRP purchases. This invest family. This is exactly why we know that Ripple is going to be the clear winner in this case. Ripple win because it had no legal obligation to purchasers of XRP after the sale occurred. No post sale obligations. In other words, there can be no investment investment contract without an investment contract. I think Ripple wins on this because it is correct. And in the last month, Ripple has received unexpected backup on this issue from the Paradigm Operations Amicus Brief. And in their brief on page two, it states, quote, a comprehensive analysis of federal and appellate law reveals that no authority exists to support the SEC's attempt to transmute the Howey analysis of an investment contract transaction into a conclusion about the underlying asset. In every application of Howey where an investment contract was found, there was some identifiable legal relationship between between an ostensible issuer and the investor providing investment capital. The evidence is clear in the Ripple case that there is no ongoing legal relationship between Ripple and XRP purchasers. There's this is exactly why, family, we see all the narratives are starting to change. This is exactly why, family, everybody is starting to change their tune because they know that they need whatever crypto project that they're working on, whatever digital asset that they're thinking they're trying to create whatever NFT, whatever use case that they need. It is going to be on the back of XRP and Ripple. Ripple's going to win this case flat out. Two years of FUD. I just can't imagine what a company that's dealing with a lawsuit that's still trying to grow. You can get tired. You can get frustrated, especially with the incumbents. 
everybody that is trying to hold XRP down. We just saw on the video right here of them them saying that a fraudulent lawsuit was put on Ripple and XRP to stifle innovation just to hold them back so they can get another opportunity to create their own coin and they failed. Brad Garlinghouse was not worried in 2017 at the Swell event, was not worried about the price of XRP three days or three weeks or three months from the time. He was focused on the price of XRP three to five years later. Guess what, family? We are off in that time frame right now. We are coming up at the five year mark and the Phoenix is about to rise from the ashes. Companies as competitors because it's so early that I thought, look, we're trying to solve a payments problem and there's people working on securities and identity and lending and I love it. I want all boats to rise and I think that's uh, a good thing. But for us, we're gonna invest in the XRP ecosystem or invest in the broader ecosystem. Uh, we certainly want to see XRP become even more liquid. Uh, and I think as we drive adoption, that will happen. You know, this isn't one of the questions, but I wanna proactively comment on something. One of the things I say inside the company is, I'm not focused on the price of XRP over three days or three weeks or three months. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on the price of XRP over three years and five years. Mm -hmm. I have no qualms saying definitively, if we continue to drive the success we're driving, we're gonna drive a massive amount of demand for XRP because we're solving a multi-trillion dollar problem. Mm -hmm. These payment flows are obviously very, very large. And to the extent we continue to drive success of signing up more banks, introducing them to how we can solve not just a connectivity question with X current, but a liquidity problem, a multi-trillion dollar problem around liquidity called X rapid. I'm very confident about that longer arc of time. And you know what family, with the success of Ripple and the success of XRP, all boats are gonna rise in this digital asset space. Everyone is gonna benefit family. We are not against each other. We don't want anybody to go down to the ground even though that we do know 99 percent of the crypto assets when ripple does win this case versus the sec is going to go down to the drain because a lot of these tokens have no use case have no uh utility at all they're just propped up and getting celebrities to prop them up but you have to understand family that all of the boats will rise in this SEC case, and Ripple is going to win. We got John Deaton, man. Continue doing what you're doing. He's on Fox Business, and he's just laying it down, laying a law down when it comes to Gary Gensler and when it comes to the SEC with the narrative that they're pushing about them being corrupt, continuing to imply pressure on the incompetence. Things, family, are heating up. Right now in this digital asset space, what a time, family, to be alive. This is what we want to see for you XRP holders. The bags are getting tight and they're getting hot and they're about to bust. There was one thing that, that caught your attention from the SEC uh, Division of Enforcement uh, when he sort of said, hey, the, the non-compliance, the, these uh, exchanges, these trading platforms that are not in compliance, uh, he, he really shot, a, shot across the bow. And initially, I was just thinking that was for offshore only, but you say no. That applies to big names like Coinbase and others. Absolutely. That is, uh, Gary Gensler keeps saying, come in and talk to us, right? But that is a direct message to Kraken, Coinbase, the, the largest U.S. publicly traded uh, exchange. And, and I want to take note of something. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, last year complained that he couldn't get a meeting with Gary Gensler, and he runs the largest publicly traded exchange in the United States, yet Sam Bankman fraud could. And so this is the problem we have, Charles. We have regulation by enforcement, something that Lisa and I could probably agree on. In the meantime, while he's meeting with Sam Bankman fraud, he's got the library case, non-fraud, the Ripple case, non-fraud, a dragon chain, non-fraud, right. Kim Kardashian. Like he's pursuing these non-fraud cases, right. but not telling Coinbase which exchange, which cryptos might be security. And uh, the reason why that they're pursuing these non-fraud cases, family, and again, is to hold back innovation. And what other company, what other ledger than to go out and stifle innovation than XRP? 
Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Family, leave a comment down in the comment section. John Deaton, continue to drop that heat, family. And I'm telling you this right now. We got Sam Bankman fraud. He just got locked up. I'm telling you, Mr. Burns himself, Gary Gensler, let's be on the lookout for him, family, because he's about to get locked up himself. I can't believe that for the past two years, he has pushed a narrative that Ripple is wrong. He has pushed a narrative that XRP is an unregistered security. He knows, family, that he's done everything that he can to try to stifle this innovation. Here we have right here from Brian Brooks letting everybody know. Brian Brooks always speaks the truth. And what he's letting us know is we need regulation and we need it now. But it's not going to come from the SEC. It's not going to come from the CFTC. It's not going to come from Congress. It's not going to come from any regulator at all. It's going to come from the courts, from the ripple in the SEC case. Ripple and SEC, Ripple in the XRP and XRP Ledger is about to be, family, the only crypto in the United States with clarity. Because there was no regulation in place around the crypto industry and it's hard to define the assets themselves. Yeah, I, I don't think so, Sarah. I think this is one of the big uh, misconceptions that uh, both policymakers and the public have about the way crypto works. The fact is, if you lie to people, um, that's fraud. And if you take their money and they rely on your lies, that's criminal fraud. So you don't have to have a license or be regulated to be criminally responsible for doing what happened in this case. The point of regulation really isn't to go and clean up disasters like this. The point of regulation is to prevent the disasters in advance. And that's one of the reasons why I've been calling for three years at this point to bring crypto inside of the regulatory perimeter. You know, if you're going to lend out money, that should happen inside of a bank. If you're going to trade securities, that should happen inside of a broker dealer. And I think the conundrum that the Senate Banking Committee will confront this week is, do we really want to keep crypto outside of regulation because somehow we think they don't deserve regulation? Or do we think the point of regulation is to protect people from this kind of a scam? And if these things had happened with bank supervisors on site, you know, Sam would never have been able to get away with it. Brian Brooks needs a governmental office because I believe that if he was in office family, all of this stuff would have been done with over in 2020. But we have to deal with the incompetence and we have to deal with the status quo. We have to deal with the 1% trying to do everything that they can in their power to stifle this innovation. But I'm not worried at all. The high vibes is always going to be bullish, especially on the greatest digital asset xrp one good guy that we do have over there in congress is tom emmer he understands blockchain he understands crypto he understands digital assets and he's on the forefront family of making all of these guys come in and testify and admit of all of their fraud that they've been doing to try to stifle this information we need more people over there in congress like Tom Emmer, like John Deaton, like Brian Brooks. Maybe we can get some bills. Maybe we can get some legislation. Maybe we can get some regulatory framework that's going to benefit everybody that won't stifle innovation, that will bring together the public and the private sector, that will make sure that this digital asset space going in the future will thrive, just like the Internet of Information did. Check out this heat, family. Look at Tom Emmer. This guy, he does not play any games. He wants crypto. He wants regulation. He wants a level playing field right now. More meetings with FTX than anyone else in the crypto industry. We understand that what was being negotiated was a framework for digital asset exchange registration and token registration with the SEC that would benefit both parties. It would expand the SEC's jurisdiction in exchange for the SEC's preferential treatment of FTX over other industry participants. We understand there was a lot of activity to move this idea forward, including the circulation of draft short form disclosures that would enable filers to get tokens listed on this newly formed bespoke exchange. Mr. Ray, I know you're handicapped with the information you currently have obtained but Chair Gensler refuses to answer our questions or testify before this committee. Will you commit to sharing with this committee any internal documents you come across regarding communication between FTX and Mr. Gensler or others at the SEC? We'll, we'll fully cooperate you know, with uh, the committee and the regulatory authorities. 
with respect to our investigation. Again, specifically, I just want copies that this committee will want copies of those communications we to the extent they exist. Yeah, we can certainly work with your staff to get you what you need. Look at the pressure, man, that Tom Emmer is putting on FTX. John Ray is putting on the new CEO. He wants regulation. He wants justice. He wants Sam Bankman free behind bars, and he got him behind bars. And I'm telling you now, family, Gary Gensler, he has not come in and testified. He does not want to come in and speak the truth. All he wants to do is run to the media. Well, I'm telling you, family, Gary Gensler, don't be surprised when he gets subpoenaed and his ass is going to be locked up in jail make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section family things are starting to heat up let everybody know that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates